This is a very serious matter. Welcome to the revolution. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Derek O'Shea Show. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. I'm going live later today, so I hope you hang out with me as we just kick back, relax, and watch some videos throughout the day. But I saw this, and I couldn't help but comment on it because it's just ridiculous. Um, we're told over and over again how serious January 6th is and that we need to... It's, a, it's ruining our democracy. It's the ultra-maga that can't, cannot stop attacking us. I mean, who's watching this? I'm not. You're not. No one has time for this kind of hoopla in their life. We all knew this was a sham. We all knew this was for show. When they had a freaking a who's who of the red carpet when it first got started, it was like the most ridiculous thing ever. I watched the first episode, if you will, <laughs> of January 6th of the first day just to, just to get my taste of what was going on, but this is breaking. House January 6th committee postpones public hearing citing Hurricane Ian. Now you might be like me and ask yourself, what does Hurricane Ian that's in Florida around the Tampa Bay region, what does that have to do with Washington, D.C.? Hmm. It just doesn't make sense. Oh, unless you're worried about your ratings going down because people would be more concerned and more tuned into, I don't know, actual suffering. Ah, Derek, you're insane for saying stuff like that. How dare you? The House of January 6th committee has postponed what is expected to be its final public hearing on Wednesday. And you gotta have the ratings for the final countdown. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. In a joint statement, the Democratic committee chair, Bernie Tem Benny Thompson, the and the Republican vice chair, Liz Cheney. <laughs> is there anybody more Republican than R Liz Cheney? said, in light of the Hurricane Ian bearing down on parts of Florida, a.k.a. thanks a lot, Ron DeSantis, for sending this hurricane towards our freaking Florida coastline, ruining black and brown communities. I know that's why, why you want to send a hurricane, Ron DeSantis. You're trying to destroy people's lives. This isn't funny. This is serious. In light of a Hurricane Ian bearing down on parts of Florida, we have decided to postpone tomorrow's proceedings. Due to lack of... No. We're praying for the safety of all those in the storm's path. They're trying to take a moral approach to this, but you and I both know it has everything to do with eyes because they're concerned about you not watching, even though you're not watching, because midterms are coming up. And dear God, if you're not watching and seeing what they're doing, then how will you know who to vote for? After all, it's the Republicans that are attacking democracy every single day, every time they're alive and not in jail, rotting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> committee members are expected to arrive in Washington for rehearsals before the hearing. I love that right there. Rehearsals? I, I don't have rehearsals for this podcast because you're getting me being authentic and genuine. I'm not trying. Yes, there's parts that are showy to, so that you I, I, it's not incredibly boring, even though you might say it is. But that's just the committee had not yet provided an agenda for the hearing last weekend. Adam Schiff, who is the biggest grifter of all time and totally genuine, a, Dem, a California Democrat who chairs the House committee. And a member of January 6th panel said that the hearing would tell the story about a key element. <laughs> you know, they Democrats like to pretend like they don't care about conspiracy theories, but there are some of the biggest conspiracy theorists I know of, known to man, when it comes to Donald Trump. It's like, oh my God, this guy is so bad. Why is he bad? You like you don't even know what we have on him, but you just wait. Wait till we tell you. And you're like, okay, tell me. There are documents. Okay, what kind of documents? <laughs> Top secret. Okay, cool. What are they about? I, there are documents. I swear, you're you're gonna freak out. Uh, but I like this. Adam Schiff says, "Tell they're going to tell the story on the final uh, January 6th panel 
about a key element of Donald Trump's plot to overturn the election. <laughs> uh, I, I, our politics are all for show, aren't they? I mean, these people will say and do whatever for your eyes, but they don't care at the end of the day. They don't care about truth and getting down to the bottom of whatever. If this was true, then they would do the same for the summer of love. Um, but they won't. It's just, And every time I've watched these panels and these videos, they're full of nothing. A bunch of nothing burgers. It's just like all cons like most conspiracy theory shows or TV shows. Everything's built to hype you up and dramatize everything. Get your emotions cranking up. And, oh, my God, we're finally going to get down to the bottom of it. And then you never get down to the bottom of it. And as you stare into the abyss or dig into the abyss, the, the abyss just gets darker and darker. And you're like, I will find the light eventually. <laughs> <sighs> but they're postponing January 6th public hearings due to a Florida hurricane. Make sense of it for me, please. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys come hang out live with me on YouTube. Uh, I love you guys. Keep it up. Comment below. Like, share, subscribe. All those good things. Uh, tell your friends and family about the Derek O'Shea Show. I would really greatly appreciate it. But here again, our, our politics is a joke. All right. Let's just, these people that get all up in arms about everything, this is proof. If this isn't proof in the pudding, I don't know what is. As Biden says, the proof of the pudding's in the eating. Goodbye.